in the last two episodes, we explored incredible discoveries of buried cities across North America, with much of the evidence coming from old newspapers, now archived by the US Library of Congress. These stories, often forgotten, reveal astonishing details about civilizations that once thrived beneath the surface. We began by examining the American Southwest, particularly New Mexico, where the Anasazi people lived. We found mention of a massive structure in Chaco Canyon, believed to be one of the largest buildings ever constructed. We also touched on an exciting discovery in El Paso, Texas, where a buried Aztec city may be hidden beneath the soil. Treasures, gold, manuscripts, and even marble castles, are said to lie below the surface. There's much more to uncover, and the story is far from over. Anyway, this is part 3 of the series. If you feel like you've missed anything, check out the previous videos, the links are in the description. I recommend watching them all, to get the full picture. I hope you don't get bored. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Ancient Buried City Below Phoenix Today, we're taking a closer look at an interesting old article about the excavation of a massive buried city just 4 miles east of Phoenix, Arizona. According to the Arizona Antiquarian Society, this site is one of the largest ruins in America, possibly dating back to prehistoric times. It was stated in the article that excavation work is about to begin, and it's expected to uncover the remains of a city filled with magnificent temples and palaces. The article describes, this ancient city is sprawling across nearly a mile-wide area, with some sections left undisturbed by modern civilization. Unfortunately, as with many archaeological sites, the city hasn't escaped damage. Vandalism and relic hunters have taken their toll on the ruins. Civilization has also built farms and irrigation ditches across much of the area, erasing parts of the city's old walls. However, several large structures are still in relatively good condition, and a dig could uncover even more below the surface. Interestingly, the article suggests that this buried city might extend even further down the Salt River Valley, with some areas possibly submerged by a great flood. The Antiquarian Society believes this site is not only the largest, but also one of the most significant prehistoric cities ever found in Arizona. From just a few snippets, we find renewed confirmation that 1. There were magnificent temples and palaces in old America, 2. Traces of the old civilization have been removed, 3. Others have been destroyed by floods, 4. Vandals and relic hunters have stolen artifacts, 5. The cities are partially subterranean. The Wikipedia page on the history of Phoenix makes no mention of any of this. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The Buried City in Missouri Next, we're looking at an astonishing discovery from Moberly, Missouri. The city was shaken by the news of a buried city, found 360 feet underground, at the bottom of a coal shaft. What makes this find even more remarkable is that the city was covered by a thick layer of lava, which had perfectly preserved the streets and stone walls. These streets were laid out with precision, enclosed by well-dressed masonry, giving us a glimpse into a highly advanced ancient civilization. Among the most intriguing discoveries was a large hall, measuring 30 by 100 feet, where stone benches and statues were found. These statues, made from a material resembling bronze, had a unique cluster's appearance. There was also a stone fountain, located in what appeared to be a wide quarter street, with pure water still flowing from it, strongly tasting of limestone, indicating its untouched condition. But perhaps the most extraordinary find was, the partial skeleton of a human being, lying next to the fountain. The bones of the leg, measured over four feet long, suggesting this person was three times the size of an average human, possessing immense muscular strength and agility. The excavation also uncovered various tools. Bronze, flint stones, hammers, and metallic saws, all showcasing impressive craftsmanship. Though not as polished as modern tools, these artifacts reflected an advanced civilization with a high level of skill. The details of this incredible discovery were confirmed by two prominent local figures, Mr. D. Coates and Mr. Geo Keating, who were part of the exploration team. Anyway, I found half a dozen fact-checking articles debunking the idea of a buried city in Moberly, Missouri, and zero supportive ones. Apparently some people are very eager to get rid of this idea. 
Of course, the coal mines are not permitted to be viewed by anyone, so there is no way of knowing. Ancient Buried Cities of California In another fascinating discovery, we have reports of ancient ruins found near San Diego, California, just a day's march from the Pacific Ocean. These ruins, located at the head of the Gulf of California, reveal remnants of temples, dwellings, towering stone pyramids, and circular granite structures. Seven pyramids alone cover an area about a mile square, with massive trees and blocks engraved with hieroglyphics. These signs all point to the presence of a long-forgotten race of men, whose history is unknown to any of the current surviving families of mankind. Interestingly, some of the ruins resemble the cities, recently unearthed in Palenque, near the Atlantic, or Mexican Gulf Coast. Others, bear a striking resemblance to the ancient ruins of Egypt, or even Phoenician monuments. However, despite these similarities, these ruins have features that set them apart from any known civilization. According to the discoverers, these ruins could be antediluvian, meaning they might predate even the biblical flood. However, the local Indian population has a different explanation. They speak of an advanced civilization that once thrived here before being destroyed by their ancestors, described as ferocious and violent. The local people refer to this mysterious area as the Valley of Mystery. Hmm. Pyramids, Egyptian, and Phoenician architecture in San Diego. Here's the old stadium of San Diego, and other structures carry a hint of antiquity that might warrant a closer look in a separate video. If you find it interesting, I'll continue in part 4. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.